And here, I think that the more detail that you give, the better results you're going to get for sure. Uh, I'm trying to see, like, I, since I didn't have any error messages, there's nothing else I can really do. Um, so let's see how it responds to, to this problem. Okay, let me help you debug this. Uh, awesome, thank you. First, let's verify the repeater is probably set up to display the code. We need to make sure the repeater's data binding is configured correctly. Okay, so it managed to figure out the problem. So even though it didn't identify in the beginning that it needs to have an on item ready, like I said before, it did, once it understood that it's not working, it kind of took a step deeper. It's like, why isn't this working? And then it did. So unlike coding as a developer, where ideally most of the things you know in advance and like debugging is like a small aspect of it, when it comes to vibe coding, it's like, you kind of know that you're going to be half-assing it out of the box. So like the first, you don't even expect the first round of code to work. And then like slowly through like a process of discovery, you manage to refine the code to a place where it works. So that's just kind of like, I guess, a difference between vibe coding and general coding.